So yeah, let's. Uh, I'm just gonna look at other junglers and just see. I kind of want to try Shen too, but I don't know. Pretty much like all damagey junglers are still strong. Like uh, let's. I'm gonna go through the line and just explain what junglers I think are, are strong. Like even Zed can be strong. I mean, you can make pretty much anything work as long as it has good base damage and as long as it can clear the jungle well. But is it going to scale as well as like a tanky jungler right now? I think right now tanky junglers scale the best out of everything. Depending on what your comp is. Like if you have enough damage, I think tanky junglers are really good. But the thing is, damagey junglers, they can snowball lanes. So like Wukong, Xin Hao, um, both can just completely destroy lanes. Udyr, Udyr, if you go Tiger, like you can destroy. Um, Trick 2G is like the way he plays Udyr is he just. Uh, I think he maxes Q and his E only, and he just he has he's really fast and he can just completely destroy a lane because Udyr's damage early on is insane. Uh, so yeah, Trundle. I'm not sure if Trundle's that good right now because the only way Trundle really scales with health is his passive. Um, Naturally, Trundle scales really well. I'm not going to say that he's better than he was before, though, with this new patch. Like, I think he's pretty similar to the way he was. Because um, he doesn't really have... All he really has for damage reduction is his ult. And once that's out, then he pretty much has nothing. So, I don't know. I think Trundle scales really well. I think he's one of the best... Like, uh, he's one of the better scaling top laners, but I'm not sure about the jungle. Um, so, let's see. Skarner, obviously good. But you have to have like a weird, weird room page. I'm not sure you can look that up somewhere. You can find a guide for Skarner and you can kind of see how people do it. But um, when I was playing with, when I was playing him, I was trying scaling rooms and he really cleared really slow. Like I think you have to have the optimal room page for Skarner. Like attack speed probably would work well. Um, so Sijuani I think is really good with her scalings and her ability to initiate. I think she's really solid. Shivana is okay, I think. She doesn't really scale with health though. She has good good uh, stats with her ult, but as far as like, I mean, so she scales okay, but as far as like, I don't I don't think she has really any peel. I think you have to have peel to be good. I, she doesn't have any peel, so or any initiate ability, she can just dive in, and that's like, she does a lot of damage and like she can sit on a target kind of, but she can get kited in. Like I don't think Shivana is that good. Uh, Ringar's good, obviously. Does a lot of damage. So if you want to, like a damage jungler, Rengar is good. Uh, Ramus, best tank right now, I think, is Ramus. Just initiating ability, everything. I think Ramus is the best. Um, so yeah, uh, Pantheon, good, because he's got his global. Pantheon's always been really good. I think I think Pantheon's like one of the better damage junglers. Um, if you want to snowball lanes, I think Pantheon's really good for doing that. Um, Olaf, I tried Olaf the other day. I don't think Olaf's very good. He doesn't scale, like his, his W doesn't do damage. I, I originally thought that Olaf's W makes him do more damage based on the amount of health he has, and uh, he doesn't actually do that. I, I don't know if Riot changed that or not, but all that, uh, like you, you have, you do more damage based on how much health you're missing, which is like pretty stupid. Um, doesn't really do much. And then there's something with health, I'm not sure. But you don't do more damage though. Nunu is one of the hidden OPs, I think, that um, there's a few people that pick it up that, like, uh, can play at a high low, and they've done really well. But I think that, in general, Nunu is just really, un, like, not underplayed, and he's uh, really good. So, I don't know. I think Nunu is super strong. And with the health, with the, um, with the health buff, I think Nunu is even stronger because when he consumes a, a double golem, he does more damage based on how much health he has. So, uh, I think he just synergizes with health really well. So, I think with the new patch, Nunu is even stronger than he was. Um, I, went, I went over Shaco, actually. I just saw Shaco. Uh, Shaco's really strong as a damage jungler, but he's always been strong. He's not much stronger in this patch at all. Like, he's not stronger. So, um, yeah, Nocturne, same. No, not really changed. Uh, Nautilus, like I said, super strong. Um, just, he's really tanky. He doesn't do that much. Like, his clear is okay, actually. His clear is fine. Like, he just, his W does a lot of damage, so, and it's really tanky, it, like, you get really tanky with it. So, I max W, and, um, no, this is good. Master Yi, I never, I never really thought Master Yi was that good. I think that the Master Yi craze is over with, and I think people are starting to understand that he's really not that good. Um, he's okay at split pushing, but I think Shaco is way better split pusher than Master Yi, way safer. I think that everything that Master Yi does, Shaco does better. Shaco ganks better, Shaco does everything better than Master Yi. 
Uh, Malachi is really played right now, but I think he's really, I think he's really like overestimated. Like Riot, Matt, Riot nerfed uh, Malachi's E damage, and uh, I don't know why they did that, but I think Malachi got nerfed this patch more than anything. I don't know why people are playing Malachi. I think he's really inferior to other junglers. Um, but his R does give him 20% damage reduction. However, it uh, costs so much mana, and the damage it ends up doing is like very little. Like the now guys R just does not that it's just not that good I think and that's really all like he's got like he's got his W he's got a Q peel but he's just not very mobile and uh, I don't know I don't think Malachi's good but that's my opinion um, okay so Malphite is pretty good Malphite's always been good because his, his scaling is good um, if you can clear the jungle like if you have a good way to clear the jungle and if your lanes don't need that much help I think Malphite's good he's He's not very mobile though. Like if he gets caught in a team fight and he doesn't have his ult up, I mean if he's if you have like a lot of armor and MR, then yeah, it's it's okay. But like if, you, if like Ramus gets caught and you pop your W, you're essentially unkillable. Malphite is not the same way at all. Malphite will die to focus. So when I compare Ramus to Malphite, I think um, I would rather play Ramus for sure. Lee Sin's a good damage jungler. I don't think he's... He's actually a good tank because his E, but he's not really that tanky. Like, you, if you just focus Lee Sin for, like, a second, you will kill him. Like, he's not like Ramus. He doesn't have any base stats. So, um... Lee Sin's more of a damage jungler, I think. But, I don't know. He's just really good early on. Like, he has really high base damage early. So, if you get counter jungle by Lee Sin, like, he can kill you. So, yeah. Jarvan's a really good damage jungler, but he's always been good. Um, not really buffed this patch at all. Uh, let's see. Cho'Gath, uh, he has synergy with health, so I think I think this patch he's a lot tankier. But I've always thought Cho'Gath is just not that strong because he doesn't really have much uh, reliable P. Like, his Q actually is pretty good. If you max out CDR on Cho'Gath and you uh, are spamming Q, then... Uh, I think it's good, but, like, he's got some burst, but in reality, like, I don't know. I just don't think he's that useful. He just kind of met. Elise is, like, Elise is, I don't know. Elise, I feel like she's falling off, kind of. Like, people are kind of understanding that Elise is not that solid. Like, she's got really high base damage. Like, I don't know. She's got probably the most base damage out of any champion. So, she's always going to be strong, I think. But, uh, she's, she's played less and less. So yeah, I don't know. And her spiderlings are pretty OP. I think Elise is just one of those that are, that are always going to be OP. That's always going to be played. But um, not stronger this patch at all. Just the same. Um, Evelyn is... Evelyn has been played a lot more, I think. Actually, not really. Like I think it's pretty, pretty much like the same. Like Evelyn is just really strong because of her stealth. And she can position ganks really well early on. Um, but yeah, she's pretty much the same in this patch. And then Mumu, people have been playing a Mumu, but I think he, I don't think he's any stronger this patch. Uh, all he really has is his, all he really has for damage mitigation is his E, and it makes him do it makes him uh, take less physical damage based on, um, or it just makes him take less less physical damage. So yeah, um, I don't know. And then he's more of like an AP. Like I when I play a Mumu, I like to go full AP. But I don't, I don't really see him as a tank. Like, I feel like if you're playing him as a tank, like, you're just not being very efficient. Like, Ramus is way better as a tank. Amumu is way better as just, like, a super AP. Like, I go death cap on Amumu. Like, I get AP, so much AP that when I use my ult, like, it's doing damage. Like, it's like Fiddlesticks. I feel like Amumu and Fiddlesticks are really similar. Um, you just get tons of AP, and then you just... When you make it to a fight, when you... When you can flash ult when, with Amumu, you're not relying on your teammates to do damage. You're doing all the damage. You're killing people by yourself. That's what I. That's where I think Amumu is good. It's not good as like a tank where like you have like because as a Amumu, your only peel is your ult and your Q. Like that's not that reliable. Your Q is not reliable, and uh, your ult. I mean, is your ult reliable? But once you use it, a you're only gonna hit like two people, and b I mean, unless they're all grouped up, which is if they're all grouped up, they're bad anyways. But um, if they're all grouped up, I would rather have full AP anyways. Like, I would not, I would rather not go tank. So, another thing is, like, with Evelyn, I don't understand why people don't go AP with Evelyn. People go, like, this mixed build, which doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. 
I've had I've had a lot of success by just going full AP Evelyn. I think the reason why people don't do it is because she's we really weak early if you do that. But um, it also depends on what your team comp is. If your team comp is like really AP heavy, then more AD is okay. But if your team is like really AD heavy, then I think if you go full AP Evelyn, you're just gonna be smashing people. Like full AP Evelyn is just beast as long as you can figure out how to clear the jungle early. So make a custom game, figure out some runes, and then just smash with AP Evelyn. And then, yeah. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for me right now. Um, 